Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, February 9th, 2023. Let's find out what is going on on the Forex calendar today. As you can see, there are some important events scheduled for release. We got Bank of England MPC Treasury Committee hearings. This event is scheduled quarter to 10. Uh, we got European Union Leaders Summit today at 11. And we got the initial jobless claims from the US scheduled for release at half past two. So, very interesting uh, day uh, ahead of us. Those are the most important event, of, co of course. Uh, you can always filter the forest calendar using the, uh, uh, you know, the middle importance uh, events. Uh, nevertheless, I think we should take a look at the uh, Bank of England um, uh, MPC Treasury Committee hearings uh, event uh, because that might uh, uh, might trigger some kind of moves on the British pound. So we will talk about the British pound today and the European Leaders Summit. We should uh, speak just a little bit more about this one because um, they are going to meet for whole day. There will be discussions, there will be negotiations, there will be some creative ideas and um, it might some remarks, some comments might as well trigger some moves on Euro and on other uh, markets as well. So please stay focused uh, all day. The European Union Leaders Summit starts at 11 a.m. OK, no more talk. Let's find out what's going on on British Pound. For our chart of the British pound is showing us that we got very nice engulfing pattern here, bullish engulfing pattern from the extremely oversold market conditions after the slight uh, bullish divergence was made on for our chart. Very nice development to the outside. The bulls tried to break above the uh, level of uh, 1.21.2 um, twenty eighty six nevertheless they didn't actually uh, manage to to carry on with the rally um, this is another technical resistance and uh, as you can see one point to be honest one point twenty one oh three so just a few pips um, above this level is the other technical resistance and it wasn't actually broken strongly so we got a test of this level attempt to break out and then we moved lower um, the momentum is still negative however the uh, number of 47 almost 48 points means that we are almost touching the level of 50 which is of course the level the neutral level uh, so if we break above this level here on the chart and if we break above the level of 50 on the uh, British pound then of course we can say that um, this breakout to the upside is backed by the momentum and that's a valid breakout so the next mm, target for the British pound might be seen at the um, 50 uh, periods moving average uh, right now around 1.20 to 20 or even 100 periods moving average right now at 1.23 so please stay focused and keep observing the British pound to the uh, US dollar. Very interesting uh, market for now, especially if we take into the consideration the news release. British pound to Japanese yen. What is going on here on the four hour chart? As you can see, we got some candlesticks. We got some candlesticks uh, patterns, mostly engulfing patterns. We have even engulfing pattern here uh, and then there is a very big Marubozu candle during the downside uh, movement. Let's focus on the supports and resistance one of the supports is 153.33 the other important support is 153 uh, 55 sorry 62 and the other technical um, supports are located for example at the level of 156.70 and the newest one the the one just from the yesterday is 157.41. As you can see, we trade below this uh, 150 and 100 periods moving averages, but just above them, there is another very interesting technical resistance, 159.92. So it looks like uh, the market doesn't actually want to uh, uh, stay here in this uh, in this area. If we zoom in, we can clearly see uh, that we got very interesting bar here. Looks like a 
Dragonfly Dodge, almost like a Dragonfly Dodge, it's some sort of the pin bar anyway, the, uh, but it, it looks like this, this is the, our high tight um, candlestick pattern, but what it, it tells us basically is that uh, uh, the market is on the side market doesn't know if it wants to go up or it, if it wants to go down i guess that somewhere here there is a 50 percent uh, fibonacci retracement let me just uh, verify my hypothesis there you go uh the other way around uh so this is that one and uh, one is here there you go so we trade yeah there you go 61 percent of the fibonacci retracement is exactly uh let me just put some horizontal line here for you guys is exactly here so that's the that's the fibonacci retracement level so it in that situation we either break above the 61 percent and follow uh, higher towards moving averages or even the last swing high or this whole idea uh, will be done and that candle is telling us that something else is going on here and the market might reverse so from the Elliott wave point of view this is a continuation of some sort of the complex corrective uh, cycle it doesn't look impulsive it doesn't wo works as an impulsive uh, market so please notice the fact that we got one uh one two three four five six maybe it should be six and seven in order to complete some kind of a corrective uh complex corrective uh pattern so there is still uh some kind of a waves uh left behind on the british pound to uh, japanese yen and we should move inside of this range here for the extended period of time so this is how it looks like on the British pound to Japanese yen. Uh, let's take a look then on, on the on the other market, which and this market is uh, is the market of uh, gold. And why I'm looking at this because as you can see we got we are on a four hour chart. We got some kind of an engulfing pattern. Uh, and if we zoom in here to see much more clearly what is going on here, uh, you can see that uh, that might work as a te temporary support 1859 nevertheless uh, there is some other uh, very important level here uh, which is 1900 so right now we are clearly moving slowly to the upside but the momentum is gaining the territory nevertheless this the bulls are not gaining the territory uh, that much um, because it doesn't look like a uh, like the bounce is uh, you know um, impulsive in nature we are below the key short-term technical resistance we are below 150 moving average level so it looks like even despite the fact that we recently have a very nice bull run um, the market is still considering to to uh, to break to the downside on a four hour chart if this market is locked inside of this zone between 1866 and 1900 uh, dollars then of course for the extended period of time we might see some sort of the uh, uh you know horizontal trend but then breakout to the downside is still uh, is still expected if we take a look at this uh we can see that this is clearly corrective and it looks like uh, this is clearly impulsive sorry and it looks like this is the biggest uh, biggest decline in prices of gold this year okay so if we take for example um, the price measure or the price range measure from the recent top 1559 to the recent low uh, I don't know if I will be able to grab this correctly we got something around 5% is it okay yeah it's okay 5% of the uh, decline over 5% of the decline 5.06 so that's the biggest decline during the whole movement to the upside there wasn't there wasn't this kind of a um, down movement like this since that's a november that's the november low so since the november low even this one i guess it will be it will be uh, lower than the five uh, five percent this is three percent only but that's the other thing is how big it is and how fast the market decides to go five percent 
lower so please keep watching the gold market because it looks like it wants to go lower and it wants to break below 1860 technical support in order to follow um, towards the uh, in order to extend the the down move towards the next technical support and the next technical support in that situation is the one that was um, that was tested uh, very very often i guess this one might work 1824 that's everything from me for today. Thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time. So take care and bye bye.